Hey guys, I got that uh, the pile of a moped in, and uh, I'm figure I try to go give her uh, once over and see if she's worth saving. And uh, I pop the cylinder head off, <clears throat> pull the plug out, pop the cylinder head off. Um, ended up actually putting, squeezing the uh, clutch in with a clamp, and just kept rocking the back wheel, and the piston started moving back and forth. So we got that. Um, after I got that freed up, I ended up. Uh, Checking to see if I had spark, and I did not have spark. So this whole conglomeration of crap that you see all the way around it was me trying to figure out how to get spark. And I finally did. I finally found out that the magneto, what they do is um, they ground the magneto. Um, they turn the ground on and off going to the magneto, and that is what uh, allows it to have spark and not have spark. So I disconnected the blue wire going to the magneto, which you see right there. And uh, grounded it. As soon as I grounded it, I got spark. So put it all back together. Just you know, threw the magneto back up. You know, cleaned the points, all that kind of stuff, and uh, bolted the coil back up. Half-assed. Everything's just kind of half-assed, as you can see over the whole bike. But I wanted to see if I can go get her running. Headlights out of it. I was chasing the wires. I had that switch up there. I thought it might have been a switch up there. Just chased a bunch of crap. And uh, so I got spark. And the next thing was just to quickly go clean the carb. I still have it apart. I got some shit in there, kind of like cleaning the bowl out, blew the jet out. That's sitting in there, a little bit of acetone. And uh, I figure I go put that together with you. We'll try dumping a little bit of fuel in it, and uh, we'll see if the thing will fire up. So I figure you guys may want to see it. People like watching old start, cold start. The last time this thing, I'm guessing, it ran was 1980, 1981. It's 2013. Uh, so what's that? 33 years. 32 probably. So I'm gonna put that together. Can you see? I guess you can see good enough. I'm probably gonna try starting with a drill too. For first, we're gonna just gonna go kind of. Okay. There we go. We'll put it together real quick. I'm just gonna put enough fuel in the float bowl so that it should run. The, uh, the cylinder actually looked pretty good once it freed up. It didn't look too bad. There's not even a, um, a ring mark up on top. I don't want to put all the time into it if it's not worth it, but if it is, I will. I'll go back and tear everything apart. More property, you know, and clean it up. tough, you don't have a wiring diagram for anything, so I, I went in the house and punched up on the computer to try to find some old wiring diagrams, and I did, but like anything new, it's a little confusing, but I think we got it, shove that on there, hopefully it'll take fuel, let's see. Going down. Going somewhere. Alright. The fuel line's not taking anymore. Should be enough to run it for a little bit. I'm going to use um, the drill. I don't know if I should go choke on, choke off. The air cleaner on. Try with the choke off first, see if it just kind of kicks. Yeah, baby. The nut came off. Where'd it go? Told you everything was loose. That's a good, good sign. Alright, try it again.
want to goose it. I got the wires loose on the other side. That might work. Get these out of the way enough. Alright, let's give her. Full rep. Choke's still on, that's why. Choke won't come off. <laughs> Turn that off. There it goes. Probably give it full throttle, maybe. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! I'm gonna set you down for a minute. I need both hands. gas up already? I don't know. I don't see anything in the fuel line. Let's give her another. Maybe with the choke on it does. Alright. So I, I'm actually surprised it didn't blow a bunch of crap out of the uh, exhaust, you know? So I'm going to officially call that a cold start, I guess. It did go, so it should uh, go through and clean everything. She should come around. I mean, it's beat. That's what came out of the motor. It was actually water sitting in there. But again, it didn't pit the cylinder. And uh, up in here, there was a big squirrel's nest kind of thing up, up in the whole cover. And there's supposed to be battery in here, and I guess it's to kind of regulate the voltage so when you rev it real high, you don't blow the headlights out, and if it's real low, um, it has power to keep the, the lights at a, at a constant, we'll say. So I had to drill out all the screws to get the covers off because they weren't having any of it. So I just have to probably... You can see, one of them came out, three of them broke. But uh, that guy screws on to there, then the other cover, the fan goes on, and then another cover goes over that, and it blows air across the, the uh, jugs of the cylinder. But I could just drill those right out and go nut and bolt those two covers right together. Goes like that. It stinks in here. <laughs> so that. goes like that with a fan in it and it blows air across the engine. And that fan bolts to the Magneto. So I'm going to spend some time and uh, start buttoning all that stuff up and uh, see if I can actually make the thing, you know, maybe I'll put a jerry can on the side of it and see if I can get it to run more consistent and uh, maybe even go down the road a little bit. We'll see. I don't know what it's got for brakes or if the, even the tubes are any good. But uh, not a bad deal for two old license plates, I guess. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care.